approach. So. Hey, sir. What up, sir? What's up, Murph? What so up, Tremaine? I'm kind of Murph. to do this for the third time, but I want to show you guys, too. This is what I bought the other day. Ooh. That's tough. The hat? It's a German World War One helmet. Is it like original? Yeah. Oh, that's tough. Didn't quite fit. Where did you get that? Um. So there was this ex-soldier or this uh, this veteran who was stationed in Germany. And um, he bought it back mm -hmm. in the 80s from like a military store. And um, he had been just had it around his house since the 80s and uh, was just trying to sell it on eBay. And I got in touch with him, started talking to him about it and all that. And I had the winning bid. Cool. Got a pretty cool hat, too. The turkey. That's pretty cool. Tough. Nice hat. That's awesome. I don't know if it's called the World War One hat, but yeah. got a beanie, but that's about it that I can grab. Silly hat. I'd show you guys a hat, but uh, I cannot. Oh, your camera still don't work. Yeah. So, Alan, you're you're with us on time, then? Yes, sir. I Thought I might be late, but went shorter than I expected. So. Good man. All right, so um, I don't, you know, I don't really see a need to, to delay. I've got five guys, and that's that's really kind of that's really um, enough to, at the very least, get started. Um, so, um, you know, we we talked about kind of a timeline for things yesterday, uh, or or two days ago, and so what we really need to do today is 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 one hundred percent focus. Um, given towards one, I'm going to create these different brainstorming groups and we're going to go about um, um, going after or you know, talking about these bills. So were you guys all able to pull up the Google Docs files I sent you? Yes. yes. Uh, I need to do that real quick. Okay, yeah, go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to send Tremaine. Uh, you're going to be kind of the head guy for – uh, remind me which bill was yours. Last year, Tremaine and I did the Tim Tebow bill. That I don't I care about last in the year. House. I care about this year. Oh, this year. It's the okay. bill that talks about um, voting age. Or, uh, no, tax. Taxes. Okay, so that means that, um, Joseph Clark, you're on the term limits bill. Yes. That's okay. correct. So uh, both of you guys uh, pull up those bills. Joseph Clark, you're going to lead discussion on the term limits bill. You're going to lead the uh, – Ryan, you're going to lead discussion on the on the tax bill. I'm going to send you guys into breakout rooms to discuss. Oh, and I never quick. got the email. Yeah, I didn't get the email either. It's a text. It's a text. Yeah, I, sent it, I sent it via text. Uh -oh. uh, go, in, go, in the, go in the group thread. I got the uh, – oh, there it is. Okay, I got it. Okay, so um, I'll – you know, and if, if Berger, you're still having trouble, uh, just whichever group you're in, um, just go ahead and sort that out. But I'm going to send you guys to breakout rooms, and I'm going to kind of flip between the two. Um, and after that, I want you to come up with ways to attack the other bill. So does that make sense? So agenda yes. – you discuss first defense of your bill of a sign bill and to attack other bill. So attack the bill you were unassigned. Good? Yep. All right, here we go. And now I want to do this manually and I want to create two rooms, create rooms, um, assign. Randall, remain. Uh, where inside of this uh, link are the bills? It says 2019 and then has yours after. 2019 that. bills. 
There's two of them, Jermaine. Uh, Ryan, I need you to join a breakout room. In it now. All right. Hey, guys. Hey, coach. Okay, so we're discussing we're discussing term limits. So um, it, it, let's let's brainstorm what I think the best course of action would be to brainstorm. Um, well, I'll let you guys figure that out. You're smart enough to to figure out how, yeah, how are you going to defend that bill. Okay, where is uh, the bill? So if you go into the the link that he sent you. Um, underneath uh, 2019 session term limits amendment is what it is. No, Eric, you can't find it. No, I think I've got it. Okay. It, it's not the qualification. Of, which one is it? Term is it the qualification of the senators and delegates? Term limit. Term limit amendment is the title. Terms of okay. Okay, yeah, I think I found it. All right, um, and you guys, you can share your screen and anything you need to do to talk about that bill. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna email it to myself and then share it. All right, well, hurry up. We, you know, we gotta, we gotta get moving on this. I'm working on it. All right. Bro. How's hey, it going? Uh, working on pulling up all the documents and stuff, and then we'll we'll get started. So, so we have to defend mine and then uh, argue the other. Yeah, do, figure out a way to defend yours first before we move on to arguing. Take about. Take about five minutes or so to do each, okay? All righty. Yes, sir. All right, five minutes. Okay, so Tremaine, what does this basically mean? All right, so this basically, you see this little underlined part? Yeah. Yes. Can you you guys, hey, Ryan, if you need to, you can share your screen and show them specifically what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. The features down there, you're welcome to do that if need be. I know you guys have it on your phones. I got it on my computer. Yeah, I put it up on the computer. As long as you have it up, it's good enough. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I see the, the underlying part then. That little underlying part, all it is, it just it adds another stipulation for who does not have to pay taxes in the state of Virginia. All right. It's like a statewide thing. Uh, like abuse of power if they could stay in office for too long. Um, yeah. Like if they were able to stay for, if let's say. Senators were able to stay for longer than three terms, which I think they can now, right? They can be elected yeah. as many times as they want. Uh huh. And so then it turns into people being career politicians, and they don't, and they not, and when they're voting, I mean, at least in my opinion, when they're voting a lot, they're voting to try and uh, to try and stay in office, and they're not voting to try and better their community because they, of course, they make promises, and sometimes they don't follow up on them, and so with. Yeah term limits they won't be career politicians they won't be people 
trying to make a living off of it, off of serving the people when they should just be serving instead of. But if you have people getting elected, they're getting elected because they're doing good job. They're doing a good job. I mean, it might be because you know their name too, but if, if in the end, you want people who specialize in, um, you know, what it is they're doing because the people who have been at it for a longer amount of time are going to be better at their job. They're going to have more influence. They're going to have uh, a better reputation in the assembly to get the kind of things done that they want to get done. How do we know they're being elected because they're doing a good job, though? Yeah, they could just be being elected because they're the Republican person. That's how. For it, example, like, Vladimir Putin in Russia is going to be sole president until 2036 or so, and the people supposedly get to vote on that. Yeah, but. They don't. Is he doing the best job that he could be doing? Is that the most apt comparison, though? Because, uh, you know, those those elections out there are shams. You know, in the end, you know, Eric Cantor didn't get reappointed to his seat and uh, to his seat in the House of Representatives because he didn't he just didn't get enough votes. It didn't matter that he was looking to be Speaker of the House. Yeah, yeah but then you have people like Nancy Pelosi that's been in politics her entire life and she hasn't really done very much for anyone. Okay, so I would be careful with that argument because you're going to alienate people who like Nancy Pelosi. So try yeah, not to yeah. make it, because there's some people that think that Nancy Pelosi is the best thing since sliced bread, right? Um, yeah. Not necessarily the people in this group, but uh, there's some people that think that. So uh, we've got to try to um, avoid alienating and, and make it more about the dangers of you know, people getting elected multiple times. Yeah, that, that's that, that's a good point. Yeah, so I think yeah. keep going with it. All right. I think I think the danger of people keep getting reelected, like yeah, like with the revenue thing, how much is it really going to affect the, the state revenue? Mm, probably not, not much. Yeah. So, like, I think we can defeat that argument. With the other one, though, I'm a little unsure. Um, what is, is it about the other one? You said that it was, like, most – it's, like, the lowest tax bracket is 22000 Yeah. And a lot of 17-year-olds and 18-year-olds don't make that much to begin with. So, like – I guess we could, I don't know how we could defend that. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, it doesn't really, it just doesn't really do a lot. It doesn't really matter too much. Is, um, like this bill really doesn't have that big of an effect. Do we, do we have, we need, what we need though, Ryan, we need figures on, on um, you know, maybe, maybe 17 year old salaries if this bill is, if this has been attempted in other places, um, and Alan and Connor, you guys can help them with that. It doesn't have to be all Ryan in that regard, but um, you know, those are the types of things that people are going to ask. The first question I guarantee you're going to be asked, and you don't want to get be caught flat-footed on this, is well, how much, how much money uh, would the would the Commonwealth be losing out on if if uh, it's not collecting taxes from people who are 17 years old? Right, right, right. And and I, I think I think an attack you can't anticipate is going to be, you know, why wouldn't we tax that age bracket? Because I mean, the very more often than not, kids our age are not dependent on their income um, as much as having some extra money to spend. Fair enough. Uh, you, you can work at 16, right? Yeah. In some places, it's 13, which is when I got started. But it's, um, yeah, but it depends on the job. Yeah. But they, I think I think where you could run into pitfalls is is just we can't, this is the one bill, and the other bill not so much, but you guys have your work cut out for you and that this bill can't be half-baked. You've got to have the facts. You've got to have the figures to back up everything because there's going to be questions immediately. Fair enough. Yeah, I can get those figures. 
I feel like it. Um, the loss in revenue. What else? What else should I be planned on? Because I'll, I'll have plenty of other arguments. You know, I'll probably. I, I would see if there's any other states trying this, or if it, or if it has been tried. Um, right. you know, really see if anybody's talking about it. Um, you know, very often it, it's not that it's been tried in other states, but that there are people say, "Hey, yeah, we should be doing this." So you know, see see what's being said on on that front, and um, and and be prepared to take some arguments about, "Hey, why are we exempting? Why are we exempting?" kids who are still living and living under their parents house houses for the most part as opposed to people who really need those tax breaks like like lower income or people on, under the poverty line that's a tough argument it's a tough sell um but it's it's an argument that at the very least we got to be prepared to address Tremaine yeah I found something that says like the the median salary for 16 to 19 year olds is roughly like 26,000, 25,000 and a half. In Virginia. This is, this is, um, not Virginia. It's, yeah, I, uh, I did the same search and I'm coming up with anywhere between 21 and 25 to $26,000. If they're year. working full time. Yeah. But then we have to find how many people in that age bracket actually do work full time. Are you guys distinguishing between part time and full time in your bill? Or no. is it, whatever no. everybody no. So, um, just like salary to income okay and then we also have to specify within her in virginia because the numbers i'm looking at now is across the u.s so so what you've got to find is if you can for the commonwealth this would be great but if you can only find nationwide figures it should be fine the the number of 17 or 16 or 17 and below to kids who are working uh, who are working full-time jobs. Um, and then yeah. maybe numbers of kids who are working jobs, period. Uh, those, those percentages or those numbers, any information you can find on that, ideally within the Commonwealth, um, if not nationwide. Let me check, let me check in on the other group and then, and then we'll go. And then I think we'll join back together and, and discuss. It has been recently, um, so I can maybe try and find uh, defenses that way. I'll look at what they say. Come up with our own defenses. But oh yeah, that too. I'm just having trouble coming up with sound defenses that won't put me into using a logical fallacy yeah. or something that matter because I don't want to be caught saying something that could be turned against me. Mm -hmm. yeah, so like Coach Walker, mean. right now, like I said, although I said when we started this country, and I know it changed after Franklin, Franklin um, D. Roosevelt, that we only allow president to be elected two times. And that is solely, that is mainly because, well, when Washington was elected, he could have served longer, but we wanted to break away from British and we wanted to break away from the thought of having like a king or having a sole ruler or a dictatorship. And so he kind of like Cincinnati um, broke away and did what was best for his country. Well, although a senator or a delegate doesn't have the same power as a president, they still have a stronger voice in the House to manipulate, not necessarily manipulate, that, that might not be the best word, but use the House for their own benefit or to do something that could lead the country to where maybe you didn't want them to what them to do or just take control of the power so they have a lifetime job so i feel like this could mirror the president and the way that they only that the president's only allowed to have two terms because we don't want to see something like a dictatorship or uh abuse of power I think another way, another thing we could add on to that is since people, since senators do get paid pretty well, they want to keep and continue that job so they can continue to live well. So then they might not necessarily vote for the right thing. They might vote for something just to try and secure themselves in power. And that's, that's what I'm saying. It would be an abuse of power yeah. just so they can get their money. 
I, I, I like, like I like the the Cincinnati example. I think that might be something to kind of bring up as an example when presenting the bill. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know if it's necessarily an argument, but uh, I, I know that it's that it sounds like a good way of presenting the bill. Um, I do think that you guys need to come up with some facts and some figures because there's going to be inevitable questions. The, the questions that I'm thinking, I mean, have you guys thought of possible questions you could be asked on this? Yeah, so I was thinking we could be asked how many people have spent more than three terms and um, and all kinds of stuff on like that. And if you can, finding those figures in the Commonwealth, and it might involve a little bit of noodling, yeah. noodling around, how many state senators, how many delegates have, have, have sat more than two terms? Yeah. Miley. And um, I, you're going to find that there's a ton. There's a lot of them. Yeah. Dave Bratt sat like five terms until he got knocked off by. I um, thought he only, he only served one. one. I, I, he, he didn't did he get serve like. Uh, what? I thought he served a bunch. Canner yeah. served a lot though, and they and I yeah. think you can use Canner as a as kind of your the example that you guys point to. You know why mm. did Canner get removed from office? It was because he just he lost touch. Yeah, I've got a I've got the book of delegates downstairs from like my parents. And it's got all the delegates, and it says their amount of terms they've spent. Yeah, okay, okay, cool. I can look at that too. Um, okay. So I, I would look at that. I would look at. Um, you know, you're inevitably going to be asked about how, how salary is pretty insignificant at the state level. Um, I, I think that that's going to be brought up and that people are just not going to see a real need for this bill because, um, and so you're going to need to know how much a state senator makes, how much a state, uh, a state delegate makes, and um, just, just be prepared for those types of questions. Yeah. Um, Virginia's hard for this one in particular because the the House and the Senate don't go all year long, mm -hmm. um, unlike other – just a, a lot of the senators do have normal jobs, so Virginia is definitely more difficult to get this passed than, like, let's say New York because I think their General Assembly goes all year long. So, On the other um, hand, we're the only – we're the only um, – we're the only state – or one of the only states that has limitations on how many, or, or says the governor can only serve once. Yeah. Our governor isn't up for re-election. So, you know, if, we're, if, if that's the way it is for our governorship, shouldn't we put some parameters in for Senate? And, and oh, yeah. How, how, long, how long did you say the governor can serve? How many terms? Uh, uh, he, can only, he can only serve one term. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. So uh, right. the whole the whole idea behind our our uh, legislature and the reason we don't pay very much is because we're considered citizen legislatures. We've got other jobs. The te there's and that's a point you could bring up too is that the people who who serve in those positions they have other jobs and they do other things. Um, yeah. So you know, like isn't Northam like a doctor or something? Or he was or. Yeah, yeah, he he was a doctor, but he's he's the governor. Um, yeah, so he doesn't have like another job, but some right. of the other guys do. Right. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Um, you guys want a little bit? Why don't you? Why don't we spend the rest of the time at going after the other bills, or okay. the other bill? And and we're gonna depart at three, but I want to spend the last seven minutes doing that, and then Monday we'll come back together and we'll and we'll act this out. I just have one question. I just looked up. I looked up senators' um, salaries, annual salaries, but then I also looked up delegates, and it, it came up with annual salary of $17,640. Is that correct? Yep. That's very low. It is, it is low. Um, it's, it's because it's a part-time job. Okay. I wasn't sure. Yeah, because it's a part – yeah, you're supposed to be a citizen legislator. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm not sure. Okay. I, I'm so that not makes sure sense. What a delegate – I mean, I looked it up now. I know what it is, but – and then senators make 174, about around 174 thousand a year, which is a lot. Or it's quite a bit. I think you saw. I think you saw U.S. senators' salaries, not state senator. Oh, state senators. Okay. State senator yeah. is going to be more akin to what uh, people are making in the House of Delegates. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I'm, I'm going to go to the other group. You guys, you guys start going after the other bill a little bit. Pull that one up and and and. All right. No. Yes, sir. We'll do. Okay. Yeah. I feel like that's going to be heavily skewed by the 1920. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's heavily skewed by what? 21 Not, plus. I mean, you got 19 year olds, 20, 21, 23, 23, 20. Like, that's going to be most of the data. Right. That, that's true. Right. But it does show that even, even with that. the extra age, the uh, extra years, it's still less than. 20,000. Yeah. Hmm. So that's that's what I got so far. Yeah, but don't we almost want it to be more than 20,000 so there can be a reason for the bill? Not necessarily because then if we're if it's going to lose more tax revenue. Oh, okay. I understand. Yeah, I understand. Here, I'll, so, I'll stop sharing okay. my screen if I can. Cite your sources, guys. If if you're if you're writing stuff down, make sure you're getting that. That was a Census Bureau um, um, chart you guys had. That would be a a pretty quality source of information. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna make a Google Doc real quick. Just to, I'm gonna share it with you guys just to throw links in. Yeah. 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 yeah I'll put the I just put that link in the uh, in the chat. I put one in the chat earlier. Oh. Yeah, Tremaine, it would be great if. Uh, you did that. Yeah, that'd be cool. Just them to my desktop. And not desktop, hot bar, or whatever. What's your email, Crandall? Uh, H-E, H-E. Oh, that's an AOL. Did that work? Yeah, H-E, H-E, 5B at AOL.com. Yeah, that works. All right, um, Murphy? Con Murph. Con Murph? 103 at Gmail. All right. All right, I got it. Got it. That's all looking good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, is Coach Walker, Coach Walker, are you going to pull us back together soon? Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and do that. I, I was hoping that we could have time to argue, to go after Bills too, but what you guys might have to do, um, just kind of individually, maybe glance at the other Bill a little bit uh, before we meet on Monday next week. And um, and just so we can kind of come back together and converse as a group, right? Cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull us back together now. All righty. Perfect. Sir, you're muted. I listened in on both you guys or both groups, uh, and you sound like we made some really good headway. Is it, you guys feel that way? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. You just, yes. You have with the bill. It's nice to just look at those bills again. I think you know, and and yeah. know what we're doing. So, um, you know, I have a great question. What's up? I have a question for Tremaine. Yeah. Okay. What's your bill trying to say? Is it saying there shouldn't be an income tax for people under eighteen? That's it. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I, you know, the one group was a, uh, Berger, your group was able to get into the part where you guys were attacking a little bit, but I think even so we probably need to, yeah, it would be good to look at those bills during the weekend, the one that we didn't look as much at, um, yeah. bill, and, and see if we can come up with arguments the other way. I'll do the same thing myself. And then we'll have kind of a group discussion like this when we get back on Monday. All right, that sounds, sounds good, good, sir. All right, see you guys later. Thank All you. Right, see you later, Mr. Walker. See you, good. All right, sir.